understaffed, underpaid, six inmate deaths in three months. Those are some of the mounting issues at Metro Corrections. And tonight, the calls for accountability and a thorough investigation are growing louder. One Metro Council member has filed a resolution calling for an independent investigation by committee. WLKY's Stefan Dingle tells us what city leaders are hoping for. Metro Councilman Anthony Piagentini is calling on his fellow council members. He wants them to allow the Government Oversight and Accountability Committee to independently investigate the conditions at Louisville Metro Corrections. So the biggest and the most obvious issues is this uh, wave of, of inmate death that we've seen. With six inmate deaths over the last three months, Metro Corrections has faced mounting pressure of accountability and change. There are even calls for a change in leadership as the staff struggles to hire more officers. You know, this it, uh, really demands us to get to the bottom of what's going on, not just, oh, this person died of suicide and this person's an overdose and it all doesn't connect it. There's something not right here. And before we jump to conclusions, we need all the answers. Answers that Piagentini and others have demanded to no avail. All this ahead of a no confidence vote of jail director Dwayne Clark. In a proposed step forward Tuesday, Mayor Greg Fisher announced he hired two assistants to the public services chief, as well as an outside consultant. They're tasked with an independent review of Metro Corrections with a focus on policy, training and accountability. For some, this was a head scratcher. You know, they're just going to come in and be able to identify the same issues that we've been saying is a problem for over a year now. Um, so I'm hoping they come in with some solutions. Bringing in the additional help uh, to help and do Director Clark's job um, by the mayor, uh, I, I go on the theory of if i got to hire somebody else to do your job, why do I need you? Comments like these is why Piagentini is pushing for a third party by way of Metro Council to take a closer look at the problem at the city's jail, just as they did with Tark and the infamous downfall of its executive director accused of sexual misconduct. You know, as a legislative body, we don't oversee correction. We don't uh, operate corrections. That's the mayor's office. That's the executive branch. So what we have is oversight authority. Stefan Dingle, WLKY News. A no confidence vote for jail director Dwayne Clark is expected at Thursday's council meeting.